If at some time in the future the couple decides the marriage is not working, they must petition the state for a divorce. Marriage is a three-party contract between the man, the woman, and the state. The state represents the public interest in the institution of marriage. This public interest is what allows the state to intervene in certain situations to protect the interests of the state. The state is like a silent partner in the family, a family member who, has, who is not active in the everyday running of the family, but becomes active and exercises its power and authority only when necessary to protect some important interest of family life. Taking all this into consideration, the question no longer is whether the state has an interest or place in disputes such as the one at the bar, but becomes a question of timing and necessity. The state has a wide range of powers for limiting parental freedom and authority in things affecting the child's welfare. In fact, the entire familial relationship involves the state. Hmm. You ever wonder why a social lady can come in and take your child? What you think is your child? Is it your child? It was. But did you somehow do something to cause the state to become the father, the patre of your child? The primary control and custody of infants is with the government. There is no wider area for the exercise of judicial discretion than that of providing <clears throat> excuse me, for the protecting uh, the best interests of children. The court stands in the position of parents, patre of children. 